these are the unsung heroes behind the ATP World Tour. The point of contact between the players and the tournaments worldwide. Allow us to introduce the tour managers. We got to take care of all the communication that happens between the players in the tournament. Uh, we, we are out there to represent the players in all uh, uh, sign-ins to start with, just uh, making sure that uh, the players' interests are uh, being well taken care of. We have players coming in and out all the time asking questions about scheduling, uh, rules, uh, calendars, anything, anything related to them. These guys hear a lot of questions all the time. So um, I, I know firsthand that these guys, uh, it is behind the scenes, it is downstairs in the, you know, near, near the locker room area, they're, they're, they're working very hard. Basically be the liaison between the players and the tournament. So uh, we're their voice and uh, we try to be there for them the, the best we can and, uh, and we know there's a lot of issues that uh, can come up uh, through, throughout the tournament and then we, we do our best to take care of the players. I'd say they have uh, probably the, the toughest job uh, in, in tennis. They have a very, very tough job but, uh, but most of them do a great job. As soon as something happens, we're, we're out there to discuss it. We want to make sure that everybody's informed so nobody's left out without any idea about the especially important things that happen. So we try to make sure that uh, we speak to as many people as possible and we're open for discussion. I mean, the guys know our numbers, phone numbers as well, so it's always, they're always welcome to, to talk to us and we want to make sure that, that they, they know that. One of the job's key elements is the tricky task of scheduling. Scheduling is a, it, it's, it is a puzzle. We're there basically to protect the players and make sure that uh, you know, their requests come up and make sure we're looking to the best so they can be rested and be ready for playing and then the fairness you know, of, of their schedule. I have to take into consideration a lot of things, you know, about people being involved, players being involved with previous week's tournaments, TV interests, uh, spectator interests as well on site and uh, it's just a lot of balancing and it's, it's a great, great process. The tour manager's office is the heartbeat of any event. It's here the players catch up with all of the up to the minute news. The board is uh, something that is extremely important for the guys. I mean, that's that's the, the, the one of the places that they get most information from. That's why we really want to keep it up to date at all times, because when the players come in, that's the first thing they look. They look into the board, they try to see the results from previous weeks, the current results, you know, any withdrawals from future tournaments, any new kind of new lists coming up, or, you know, detail sheets up. So all that thing is really important. The one vital characteristic all of the tour managers share is a simple one a true love of the game. Well, I, I was working for the Italian tournaments and I was being, being passionate about tennis, the game, the rules, and uh, you know, it, they had an opening and I applied for it and I was lucky enough to get the job and it was the, the biggest moment of my life. Yeah. Well, I've been I've been tennis for all my life. I mean, played tennis when I was young and you know, was able to uh, get an education in the United States, playing tennis, college tennis. Then I, I met some of the former tour managers and uh, I was able to always follow a little bit what's going on on tour and, and you know, it just happened to be, you know, I was able to see the, the posting of this job and, and then it's just, uh, I was in the right place at the right time. So. For these guys, this is more than a job. It's a way of life and above all, a privilege. For, for people like me, this is as good as it gets. It's fascinating, you learn to be one of them, to think like them, to live like them, and to have their same, uh, the same mentality that you really, you really get very close to the players and you, you learn so much from them. I, I personally love the game so much and uh, you know, it makes every day at work uh, just, uh, just a pleasure. For me, this is a dream because you see the behind the scenes, you see what the preparation of a player, you see what they do in the locker room before and after the match. So you're part of that history, which is, is fantastic. It's a, it's a dream come through, you know. They are just doing a, a fantastic job because they are doing their best every time. They are very nice to everyone and uh, never complaining about what they have to do. And uh, so uh, a lot of respect for them. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, presented by Rio. Reading Roddick, we chat with the 2003 US Open champion and former world number one. And we find out who will win in Winston-Salem as the Emirates Airline US Open Series heads to North Carolina.
Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next week.